The Zig Karatake emboss marker is another one of those that is double-ended. So double the pleasure, double the fun, double the creativity all in one. You can tell by the color of the barrel which marker this is. So the pink barrel is denotes that it is a scroll and brush. So it is double-ended. There are little pictures at the end of the barrel that tell you which is which. So this is the scroll end, which is a flat chisel and it has a little bit of a V groove in the middle of it. So, and it's offset so that it creates a great double line as you use it. And then the other side is a brush end. And inside of this is embossing ink. And so what happens with this is that you're going to be able to do it with, it's a heat emboss and unlike the dry emboss. So this is a, a heat emboss ink and so you need to have the marker which is going to put down the ink and then you'll take any of, of your favorite embossing powders and pour it over the top of it. So here we have um, Domo Arigato Kuratake. This is um, a fun sign that will end up wrapping around the, the can as a little thank you. So um, in this sign we're going to use all four of the embossed markers. So first off, we're going to open up to the brush end and we're going to hold the brush marker horizontal so that when we pull down, we get a um, wide swath. Then we're gonna come around and just do our lettering. The interesting part about this is you can see the ink from different um, angles but it's, um, it comes out blue, but on this, obviously on this black paper, it is a little bit shiny. You'll see that it has a shine to it. So what I like to do is I like to just take and dump off. Isn't that fun? So what will happen here is that as we continue on and do the rest of our sign, it will, then we'll heat emboss it. I like to have a brush around so that I can get rid of any of the little stray um, pieces of embossing powder. So I'm going to move this piece of paper over here. And then I'm going to continue on writing with it. So it's coming and just changing the amount of pressure you have. And again, it, it comes out blue, and that's why the tip of this marker is blue. And then it stays wet a long time. And so we are using it, again, double-ended marker, so we can use the, the other end, which we will in a little bit. So then I just like to tap my embossing powder, cover over the top of it, And then come back and dump it off. And if it's if it, it hasn't gotten as much as you would like it, then you just go ahead and tap some more over the top of it. And then do some little light blows on it so that you can just get that that way. We'll set, set that aside again. Then for the Kuratake, we're going to actually use three of the different markers. We're going to use a fine and chisel, and we're going to use the writer for a dot, and then we're going to use the calligraphy for the, for the dots and the square on Kuratake. So the fine and chisel has a fine end, which is always going to be the um, grooved end of the barrel. So this tells you it's a fine end and a, and a chisel. And it is a slanted chisel. Um, in that it has a little bit of a slant to it. So you always want to be making contact with the entire edge of that marker. So I like to hold it a little bit angled in my hand so that I can come and write and make contact with the entire edge so that um, I'm going to write. And I'm just holding the angle of this the same way the whole time. And it gives a nice thick line, but when I come across, it's going to um, make a thinner line. All right, 
then we're going to take our calligraphy marker, again double-ended the um, chisel end, and we're going to get our little square there. And then we're going to take our writer, double-ended, we're going to open up to the large bullet end, and we're going to get the circle there. Then we're going to come along and just tap our embossing powder over the top of this. And then just carefully we'll pull this paper back over so we don't keep getting one. But you can see how well that um, covered and how long that marker stayed wet to be able to allow me to put that embossing powder over the top of it. So the ink that is in them is a special embossing ink so that it has a longer life on it and um, will stay wetter. If you want to, if I want to make sure that that makes it into a little bit of a square, I can push that down just to clean that up a little bit. All right, then we're going to use the writer, and the writer is again double-ended. It's a double-ended emboss writer. So the grooved end of the barrel will always be the fine end, and the large bullet end will be 1.2, and that is that on that side. So um, again, we're just going to come along and change. So I'm going to write with the large bullet end and then just to change it up a little bit I'm going to open up to the fine end and I'm going to write with the fine end and you can I can see that it is a little bit shiny and that's where we know how it is um, taking hold of that so again we're just going to tap the embossing powder over the top of it just get it all covered up and do that and it looks like we didn't get much of the it to stick or we didn't get any little stray pieces. The scroll end of the um, scroll and brush emboss marker by Zig Kuratake is a one that will give you two lines. So I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to come along and make sure that I'm making contact with the entire edge. And it's fun to be able to do corners like this. Um, you could even dip it all the way in and make a solid corner, almost like a photo corner. And we'll just tap our embossing powder over the entire edge and come along that way. So now here becomes here comes the magic part of this is that we're gonna move our spare little pieces. We'll get those back in the bottle in a minute. And then we're going to get our a heat, a heat gun. You need a, um, a heat gun that has no air to it. it, just puts out heat. And what will happen is it will start to enliven and heat up those little particles so you can see how it is changing from, isn't that fun? Just go along and I'm going to turn this so that it's away from my fingers. I always find it's a good idea to have it away from my fingers so that you don't burn your fingers. How fun is that? You can see how shiny it is and how it just gives that great shine to it. So then that is how we have our Domo Arigato sign and you can take and peel off the double-sided tape and go ahead and then wrap it around our can so that it great makes a great little presentation that way. 
the other fun thing to do is to um, make bag toppers or candy toppers and such like that. So we're going to do that and I'm going to get this little piece of, little bit of embossing powder back in there. So I just take and curl up my paper. This is just text weight paper and then it will just go right back into the, into the jar. So for this we're going to use the brush end of the, of the scroll and brush. Again double ended and Probably best to keep the caps on, the one you're not using. So we're going to just, again, come around and do a fun lettering style, whatever style you would like. We're just doing some pressure here, up and down. And the ink comes out blue. And I'm going to show you a fun trick on the next piece that we're going to do. So we're going to take this and, and tap on our embossing powder, again, whichever you like, and see that we didn't get it over here. So we'll put that on and then, again, if you have a spare brush and you want to get any of those little extra pieces around. I can see it. I didn't get the top of this so you can just again it stays wet so long these in embossing markers that you can have them be that way so we're going to come back with our heat source now I'm going to hold this this way so that I am away from my away from my fingers wow that is just so fun how it just enlivens those little crystals and and so shiny then we can add our little medallion that we have and then you have a cute bag topper that you would like you can make your own cards and you can have them printed and then you just can add the um, personalization to it so in this case we um, we figure out how many days it is for that person's birthday and so this one happens to be for a little seven-year-old, so there's 2,556 2, days. But um, sometimes it's hard when you have a blank canvas to be able to think, oh, where am I going to get it and how is it going to be centered? So the fun tip that you can do is if you write with a... Um, a light platinum gray. This is the brushable pen that has 100% on one side and 50% on the other. So I want this 50% side and I'm actually going to create my, my letters on here so that I can then know where to put my marker. So that's kind of a fun little trick that I like to do is because it's going to allow us the visual of it. Okay, I like that. So um, so here I've got these all written down. So we're going to use the um, scroll and brush emboss marker. We're going to open up to the brush end and then we're just going to simply trace over those gray lines. And that way you know where your writing needs to be and just make sure that you cover them all the way up and then when you add the embossing powder over the top of it, it's going to cover it up. Get a, a little spare piece. There we go. And the great part about the um, emboss markers is that they have they're so wet that you can you can even go over it a couple times if you would like to make sure that you're making contact with all of that letter and because the heat activates the 
the crystals, you can even go back and add some more embossing powder and embossing ink on top of something that you may have have missed some of. So um, I like to heat it up and then even go back and heat it up a little bit more just to enliven that coloring that you have there. So here we're going to use the bullet end of the writer, so a green barrel writer, and we're going to come and add our embossing. You can see how it is blue going over the top of that. And just tap some of our embossing powder on the top, whatever kind you would like. And then lastly, we'll go over the, the gray lines here. Again, it comes out blue, and then it is really wet for adding the embossing powder on the top of it. So now, what we're going to do is, is we're going to turn on our heat gun, and I'm going to hold it up here so that the heat will. And as soon as it takes a minute for it to heat up, but then you can all of a sudden see it. Just heat up those crystals and emboss it. Is that you can see how how sparkly it is and if there are any that, that that maybe didn't get enough heat on them then you can just go back and heat it some more and it just enlivens that those crystals again making sure that we've got those and once it is um, cool to the touch if you wanted to go back and add some more embossing um, marker to it and then just reapply your embossing powder again but the the Zig embossing markers, there's four of them in the four different tip sizes. So we have calligraphy, fine and chisel, scroll and brush, and writer to be able to give you, add some embossing to your projects and get that high intense glow and shine to your project.